I'm going to show you the five most common filters that webmasters use to study their web traffic that can really help you uh, to see what's taking place. Now you get into Google Analytics, you click in through your account, and as you come to your main screen, I'm going to study the uh, Network Online Secrets, my much, ne my much neglected blog here. And what you want to do here, you want to come down to the bottom where it says uh, Manage Filters, or I can come down to uh, where my website, uh, you add a website profile right here, by the way, but I can come down to where it says Edit. See, it says Edit. Click on Edit. And from here, I can look at all my stats here, and I can come down where it says uh, Filters, Apply to Profile, and right now there's none. So I can come down right here, and it says Add Filter, and I click on Add Filter. From here, you'll see this uh, screen, and obviously I can uh, do a number of things here. I can add a new filter for profile or apply existing filter to profile. So I'll just stay with the add. Uh, but there's obviously a number of different uh, filters that you can add here. And I'm going to give you the top five uh, ways or top five common profile filters to, to analyze your web traffic. Uh, the first one is to include only your website's traffic. At the very least, you should apply this filter to all your profiles, all of them. And you can apply them to all of them, by the way, uh, very easily. Uh, but I'm going to show you the, the right filter to use for this. Uh, this custom filter ensures that your, da that your data and only your data is collected into your Google Analytics profile. For example, uh, for example, it's possible for another person to hijack your Java code. Uh, they can visit your website and they can hijack your, your Java code and put it on their website and it'll mess up all your, your Google Analytics data. Um, so to ensure that people, that your analytics data is not hijacked and, and not true, uh, you can create a custom filter to eliminate so that you only see, uh, you only see your website's traffic and it's not coming from somebody else who has hijacked your code, all right? And so, for example, a custom filter could be only, you can name it, for to name it, only uh, my site, okay, and this site it would be in network online secrets dot com, okay, and traffic. You can put uh, what your site is, and of course it would be a custom filter. I'd put a custom filter. From here I'd put include, and I'd want to go to the uh, the filter fi uh, field, and I would want to put host name come back up here and it says host name and from there I would put this special uh, characters here I would put network you would put your site so mine would be network online secrets dot com but before you uh, right before the period I want to put a backslash this backslash uh, will enable you to filter out all the noise out there of other people's websites who may have hijacked it. The second one that I'm going to show you is to exclude certain known visitors. Uh, this is the second most common uh, profile filters that web webmasters use. Uh, for example, you want to certainly exclude your own IP. <laughs> A lot of people, uh, when they open up their browser, their home page is set up to their company's website or to their own website and so you certainly if you have staff or if you have workers that are always visiting your websites uh, you certainly want to exclude them okay and you can do a obviously you can do a predefined or a custom filter and for a for a, a predefined you put exclude and you put traffic from IP addresses and from here you can put uh, you know that contain and you put the exact uh, IP address uh, that you have in there and hit save changes or you can go to uh, custom filter and you name you can you name it of course um, that you know of, of your company or whatever you know your staff or whatever and you can go exclude and field name is uh, obviously visitors 
uh, IP addresses and the filter pattern this is where you put in uh, the filter pattern now obviously you want to exclude uh, your IP address uh, and also any workers you can see here that there's some uh, samples here if you go to help here they'll give you the regular expressions so for example uh, this type of expression is the most basic and common use of regular expression and this configuration will exclude traffic from your own computer uh, exclude or include only traffic from a range of IP addresses as well. You can put in a range as well. And this is the uh, how you do that. Okay. Uh, for example, 1 to 9 into the field pattern, which is right here. So you would put the IP address right inside that field. Now, here is a great tip. Uh, to speed up the processing of this type of filter, um, you want to put a, a couple uh, anchors uh, around, your, around your IP address. Um, so and the first anchor is this one here. Uh, this is the the symbol that the, that is attached to your the number six on your keyboard right above the six, and then you put in the IP address. For example, it could be uh, six three, and you can do a backslash uh, dot two one two, and it could be backslash uh, dot uh, for example one seven one, and backslash one. And then you can have a range, for example, uh, and uh, the range could be like this. Oops, and one to nine. So, for example, you can have a, anybody in this grouping of IP addresses uh, that's happening that's going to be uh, excluded, uh, excluded, and like that. So then, at the very end, at the at the end anchor, um, you put the the dollar sign. So your first anchor is this little tent, so to speak, that's attached to the above the number six in your keyboard. And the dollar sign is your end tanker, and this will go through all these different IP addresses uh, in that range here as well, and it'll exclude them, and it'll, it'll make it go much faster if you put these anchors on there like that. All right. Um, so you can also do a grouping as well. All right. Just here, just like that. There. See that. And so that's a little tip using those those anchors. And once you're done there, you click on save, and that's the second type of common filter that webmasters use to to filter out the noise coming from your own IP, coming from your own computer and that of your staff or anybody that you know uh, that you don't want to uh, to be on. All right, the third type is to create a custom profile a filter based on a geographical location. Obviously. Uh, Google Analytics will show you in the reports, uh, you know, where different countries that it's coming from. But to set up a, uh, a profile so that you can specifically uh, give a region, uh, if you have workers and you're wanting to know a specific region, uh, you can simply, uh, for example, Canada region only. All right, and this would look like this, and it'd be a custom filter, and I would put include in there. See, include in there. And I can put the uh, visitor uh, region. See that visitor region, and I can put in, for example, Ontario. And you'd put in a, for example, a uh, what's that called there? It's right above your your enter key. Um, a, it's called a pipe. And I can put in, for example, uh, New Brunswick. Another pipe, and I could put in, for example, um, Manitoba, and so forth. You see that, and I can put in different regions, and and this here will uh, give me uh, what's happening, uh, where my traffic is coming coming from, in from different uh, regions like that. All right, uh, you can also do uh, by countries. So, for example, if you have international business and you want to know which where it's coming from, uh, by countries, and you can obviously go down here to uh, by country, and so for, for for example, I want to to know where it's coming from, uh, from you know Brazil. If I want to know a certain region uh, or and Brazil, you know Russia, and uh, in China, all right, so. Alright, so you see, click Save Changes and your, this report will give you all the uh, traffic coming from, 
from these countries right here, right? Um, the fourth way used for is segmenting by a campaign, a medium, or a refer source. Um, as you know, as with the use of other filters dis already discussed, uh, Google Analytics already does an excellent job of displaying different campaigns, mediums, and, re and sources of referrals. But in some scenarios, it's really helpful to have a profile with dedicated reports for these, in order in order to really help you optimize uh, these uh, a lot better. For example, you can you can have a filter for what's coming from for paid traffic, or from uh, free traffic from Yahoo. You know, lots of analysis there. So this would only be for Yahoo, uh, for paid traffic. But if you're wanting to create a, a custom profile filter and you want to analyze what traffic's coming from Google, Google-only visitors, both paid and non-paid, into a separate profile, uh, you know, uh, I would create a profile like this. So this is for Google-only traffic, both paid and, and, and free traffic. So I, I would name it Google-only uh, visitors, and I would put it as a custom filter. I would put include, and I would put campaign source, campaign source and I would put in there okay hit save so that's gonna give me all the traffic coming from Google both uh, free and and paid um, now if you want to for example um, do an AdWords only you can just go AdWords only all right and obviously you what you need to do is instead of a campaign source you put the campaign medium you see, and and you change that to, you know, PPC or, or whatever. If you want to obviously uh, do a banner, uh, you can you can do that as well. Um, banners and so forth. Um, you can see here that if you want to measure, for example, what traffic's coming from email marketing. Um, you know, say for example, you have email marketing going on, and you want to see what what traffic's coming from. Uh, email marketing you just put email uh, visitors only and put in include and you put in campaign medium and you put in email so this is going to track specifically what traffic's coming from email what traffic's coming from Google paid or free what traffic's coming from uh, you know just pay-per-click specifically and you, so you can create a number of these custom uh, filters that's really really cool now the last uh, custom profile report uh, filter that a lot of webmasters will use is to segment by the content of their website. A lot of times you have different uh, web pages or, or areas of your, of your domain that you wish to uh, know what traffic is going to where. For example, you might have a landing page that is your money page where people uh, are clicking to buy stuff uh, and you want to track the conversions, but you also have uh, a support or a forum where people go to for help and so you want to know what uh, you know what kind of traffic is going there and the way that you do this you click on a uh, predefined uh, filter just like that and for example I want to track my uh, my support all right my, my support uh, traffic and you go a, a predefined and I would obviously have a uh, include and I'd put in subdirectories and I would uh, and right here I would put in the subdirectory and for example support or form or what have you okay and obviously you know, click on save changes so it'll it'll tell you exactly the traffic coming in from that support uh, this this is great. This is great. So these are the top five methods to create a custom profile filter and to analyze your uh, your web traffic. And I hope this is beneficial to, beneficial to you. Once you look at the reports, you're able to zero in on exactly what you need to do, and this will give you the true results of what your uh, some of your web traffic is telling you, and to and to eliminate some of the noise that's happening. Uh, from your own visits and so forth.